what do you get when you take a very simplistic style of turn-based card games and put it in the blockchain for the world to play and earn? Well, you get Axie Infinity, one of if not the biggest blockchain games in the world at the moment. But with the bearish run from across the market as a whole, Axie Infinity is also affected as well as other platforms. So, is Axie Infinity dead or will they rise from the ashes and take over the blockchain ladder once again? Hello internet and welcome to your favorite blockchain gaming channel, Crypto Cash Out. Here in Crypto Cash Out, we're bringing you the best and latest in the world of crypto. Before we continue to the video proper, we would like to make it clear that we are not financial advisors. In the same way, we are not experts in the field. So whatever you hear in this video is information that we want to share so that you would be more knowledgeable. Please do your own research after watching this video. It helps you truly. With that being said, on to the video. So, Axie Infinity Origins is finally here. After quite a while and months of teasing, Sky Mavis finally released the game, but what now? For some of you who stumbled upon this video wanting to know more about Axie Infinity, you may be confused as to what we mean when we say Origins. So, for that, we must have a little bit of history lesson for all of you. Axie Infinity is a game developed and released under the company of Sky Mavis. Sky Mavis is a Vietnam-based company that focuses on game development. Their team is also stacked by talented software engineers with a long list of backgrounds. With their collective experience, they are able to create the biggest blockchain game of 2021, amassing billions of dollars in revenue since their release. The gameplay of Axie Infinity revolves around these cute creatures that we call Axis in the game. You collect these creatures via breeding or buying them in the market. Pawn with them and train with them so that you will have a strong team of Axis. In order to play the game, you must be in possession of at least 3 Axis that will battle for you. Each of the Axis will have special traits and characteristics that make each Axis unique from one another. And with the breeding mechanic that allows players to breed axes in order to get desirable body parts, they can create the perfect axe from over 500 parts. And with a gameplay that is similar to the turn-based mechanic to Pokemon, mixed with move sets from cards that take mechanics from trading card games, then you have a game that has fans from all around the world gathering to earn tokens and reach the top of the ladder. And now, you know why Axie Infinity is such a successful game, especially last year. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Because of the massive popularity of the game, more and more people are installing the game to try and earn more in the game. And again, it is not that hard to earn in the game especially when you give your heart and time into it. And with that, a lot of SLP, the in-game token was being produced. And it was being given off at a fast rate, causing the supply to have a surplus of tokens. And I don't think we need an economy lesson to know where things are leading to. Because of the large supply of the token, the value of the token dropped at an alarming rate sometime after that bullish run in November 2021. It also does not help that all of the market that is riding the Ethereum ecosystem is affected by a bearish run due to some international conflicts. The game struggled to find its foothold for quite some time and the prices of both its token, SLP, and AXS dropped significantly. Before, you could buy an entire team of Axis for $600, good for the seller but not so much for the buyer. But now, with all the problems mentioned earlier, you can buy a team for $60. What a drop! It also does not help that during the time of token droppings, there was a malicious person that was trying to get into the system. Someone on the Ronin network, a side chain of Ethereum where trades are happening in the marketplace of Axie Infinity, was hacking into the system. Overall, that person or those people were able to gather over $550 million from that heist alone. Now, Axie Infinity did a great job of being accountable and reimbursing the people who were affected, but their stained name will take years to be cleaned. Despite the controversies and price drops in the recent months, Sky Mavis is not giving up on their golden game. They have earned billions with it and gathered millions of gamers around the world with the game once, they can do it once more. They can earn the trust of the people again, but what will be the plan with Axie Infinity? The developers of Axie Infinity announced a reimagined version of their original game. They call it Axie Infinity 
Origins. So, is it a prequel or a sequel to the original game? We don't know. But what we do know at the moment is that the gameplay will be similar to that of the original game. It will have the same repetitive combat system of last game. But that does not mean that they are just copying the game putting a new name into it. They also want to revamp some things, especially with their strategizing that will enable a flexible gameplay for the players. They kept the card-based gameplay where you must draw cards from your deck which allows for on-the-fly strategizing and quick thinking. The cards have a variety of uses from damaging cards, healing cards for the Axie and the team, cards that provide shielding for the team, and cards that are utility that gives the team the upper hand the longer we get to the match. They also kept the damage output that is based on the type of Axie is doing the damage, receiving and making the attack. This is from the Pokemon playbook where one type of monster will receive more damage from a specific type of attack. For instance, Beast type Axis will do more damage to Reptile Axis, but they aren't the best type as Beast type will also take more damage from Aquatic type Axis. This rock paper scissor gameplay is the reason why people love playing and strategizing in the game. All in all, there are 9 types of Axis, Reptile, Plant, Dusk, Aquatic, Bird, Dawn, Beast, Bug, and the Mech Axis. Also, don't forget about the rules that you equip to your axes in order to boost them in-game. So, what are the changes that we must expect? Well, what people are really requesting that they change in the battle mechanic of the game is make the turn sequential. It has been an improvement that a lot of players are seeking. Sequential turns allow for faster and more dynamic games. Each move, the energy level of a player is refreshed which allow for more aggressive turns that will make the battle much quicker. They also have made changes in major elements of the game which I think is really great. Some people are not a fan of quick games though and want more time to think of their moves and set off their cards. They have also worked on the charm and rune mechanics which allows for more pre-game strategizing and not everything will be based on luck of the cards available in your hand. There is also a new rage mechanic that will be implemented in the game. Getting started on Axie Infinity Origin is also really easy especially when you already have an account from the previous game. And if you haven't played on the first game, don't worry. Signing up for Origin is really easy as you just have to head onto the official website and follow the steps provided. You can also create a Ronin Chain account especially if you have plans of buying Axis in the near future. After that, you can download the Sky Mavis hub in order to launch the game if you are playing on PC. Once that you have the hub open, install Axie Infinity Origin there and get started and get playing. If you are a mobile gamer and want quick, you can also play the game on your mobile device and it does not take a lot of space to do so. Sign in with your Axie Infinity account and now you can get started. Getting started in the game is also really easy. In fact, it is free. Literally. Once you log in in the game, you are given starter axes. Now do take note that these axes will not be the best for battle. They are starters after all. Having starter axes is good news especially for those who cannot afford axes and are forced to rent out the axes of other people in the last game in order to start playing. After that, you can start playing the game. There is a story mode and adventure mode in the game where you must follow the story of axes and how they came to be. Lore. With the lore, you can understand and connect more with the adorable creatures you have. After a while, you will be given a free Axie if you finish the story. That is really great because the means that you don't have to have an initial investment in the game to get started. Well, if you consider time and investment, then you already have. But you get the point. Always remember though that you must protect that free Axie with all your life. Battle with it, train with it, and dominate the world of Axie Infinity. What do you think of the game? Will Origins relieve the glory days of Sky Mavis with their first game or will a new name in the blockchain gaming dominate the market? Be sure to comment down below as we really love to read your comments. Best one wins a shoutout giveaway in the next video. Also, like the video if you enjoyed it. It takes one click. You know what also takes one click? The subscribe button so do it to help us grow and reach more people. That would be it from us today. Thanks for watching and have fun cashing out.